So recently I started making a project on 3D pixel art because everyone seems to be doing it. And the technique is inspired by this creator on YouTube. I first saw his videos and I was really amazed by how well his videos were. The idea of rendering a fully 3D scene into looking like it's a 2D scene was really fascinating to me. But in today's video, I guess consider it uh, like a devlog or something, I'm gonna be talking about specifically how he added these um, like, you know, lights that you're seeing on the screen right now. I tried my best to create these lights and I went through a few different methods, but at the end, I did find a very, very good method to apply them. Okay, so here's a brief explanation. Just imagine this is a plane surface. What happens when you place a light on top of it? The light sort of scatters around the surface and creates this smooth looking fall off. But we don't want that. What we want instead is a sort of like saturated end, or should I say a constant color around the edges, a sharp fall off. So look at this light. How is this projected on the surface? It has a few different sharp fall offs. There are like two or three, usually two or three types of, you know, fall offs that have like gradually go from being light to a little bit dark and then a little bit darker type of color. So for example, if this, if like the end part has an alpha value of like say um, 10, then the second part would have 20. The third one would have 30 and so on as many layers as you want to create so this way you can create a sort of like a um, light effect that you would see in this demo and that's where the stencil effect comes in now this is an effect that was previously used on the legend of zelda wind walker game that game had this similar um you know way of drawing lights none of the lights were actually real all of the lights were basically sphere meshes that had a certain type of material applied to it that would only you know sort of like um, brighten up the areas that the mesh sort of clips through with this is a great way of adding like sort of like fake light effects to your scene and this is exactly the effect that um, the youtuber minions art has recreated so when I came across this video, I just realized that this is exactly the same technique that the original owner, the Tessel R8, or if I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sorry, he created on his Dynamic Lights video. As you can see in his Dynamic Lights video, there is this thing that, you know, this material that has a similar effect to it, and I do believe that he used the similar technique. But I'll be going a little bit more detailed into that later so let's just see how it's set up in this scene so here's the basic scene I've taken down the uh, directional light and then you know set up some basic post-processing so here's how the lights work so for the lights each of these lights are a like a prefab and inside these prefab there are sphere meshes these are default unity spheres there are like three different spheres each one smaller than the previous one I just created one sphere then duplicated that and scaled that sphere down on without changing its position and by that I created three different spheres inside of the main sphere and then I applied the material that was like the shader that minions are provided from their video each of these spheres have a mesh renderer and the mesh renderer has two different uh, slots for material entering. The first material is the mask material that helps us creating the mask and then there is the second material. The second material is for the color. Now the way this works is by creating a mask of the, uh, you know, the sphere wherever it clips through an object and then the uh, color that's determined by another material is then applied to that area that's clipping inside of that sphere and um, I won't be really going in depth into it but you can create a few different spheres and then you know combine them together creating a prefab that would be much easier and then create a few different you know sort of like materials to you know uh, really give it that depth and by creating these layers after layers of spheres when these spheres together collide in in terrain object then the bigger sphere is first collided and then, then the uh, smaller sphere 
goes in and like that it creates a sharp fall off light effect now it's not really an actual light but it does work like light because each of the part that like each part or mesh that's inside of those spheres are being lit up depending on the color of the material that is provided inside of that you know spheres shaders material that determines the color so basically these are lights but they're not actual lights but they do work like a light and this is where the stencil effect really shines but there are a few catches if you're using this on a universal render pipeline or in a built-in render pipeline it works in a bit different way than the original creator's one the original creator is using a bit different method i do believe he might be using the standard render pipeline which allows you to have the masking shader and the both uh, color shader in the same compute shader which is not available in the universal render pipeline as minions are said and also minions art provides uh, the standard shader as well which is just a single shader unlike the urp version which is divided into two different shaders so i do believe tesladar has found some way to create those both things into the single shader or he might be using a standard shader a standard render pipeline from the beginning so which allows him to use that material directly on top of a particle system which allows him to get the effect like that or he might be using a mesh as a renderer and then using that material on top of that sphere mesh just the way i did anyway there are endless possibilities to this thing and you can endlessly customize this thing so if you want the entire um light thing and other things i've written a patreon post about it you can go ahead and check that out you can also check out my patreon it's only two dollars a month and it really really helps out the channel so yeah and also once i'm done cleaning up the project a little bit i will be uploading the project file there so and a more detailed tutorial on these lights and other things will also be available there because you know it's a patreon anyway thanks for watching everyone love you see ya have a great day or do something with it i don't know just just see ya